In this video, I'm going to walk through how you can use a word cloud generator, and it's totally free online. And you can create really high quality, large files that you can then sell on sites like Etsy or Creative Fabrica, or you can just stick it on a t-shirt. You can sell it on sites like Redbubble or Merch by Amazon. So I'm going to be using all free tools in this video. All right, let's jump in. So the word cloud website is called wordclouds.com, and it does have an ad supported model on here. Now I'm using an ad blocker for this video, but normally I would actually allow the ads to support the site. So this is relatively straightforward to use. However, there are some tips and tricks I'm going to share in this video because there's a lot of options here. Let's start with the horizontal menu here. You're going to see a file option and then a word list option and a shape option. There's also fonts and colors. There's even a wizard. I'm going to keep it relatively straightforward here, although I'm going to create a very large word list. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is go to my shape option. It's right here, and I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to go to select shape. And it's pretty cool. You're going to see a bunch of icons, and as you scroll down, the icons just go on and on and on. So all of these represent different shapes that you can then use to fill with different words. There's also colored pictures as well, so that's pretty cool. Now the one that I'm going to be using in this video is maps, and I love this option. There's some really cool maps in here. Now I hover over them, and you're going to see it, the descriptions aren't great, so this is USCA is the icon. So I'm going to click on it, and it's going to show me that there's the shape. Now it's just got a bunch of blank text in there, just a bunch of Latin phrases in there. So I'm going to now fill this with a word list. So next up, I'm going to go here to word list, and I can import from a CSV file, which is like an Excel file. I can also extract words from text. So I'm going to show you how I do this. There's multiple ways you can do it, but this is what I find is easiest. I've gone onto Wikipedia, and I've just looked up, I just Googled list of cities in California. And so Wikipedia has got great pages with tables in there where this shows you every city in the state. Now, if you try to highlight it, it's going to be a bit tricky, but you can get in there and you can start highlighting. It depends on what browser you use. Just for ease of use, I tend to scroll down to the bottom of the table. And it's a very large table. There's about 500 cities. And I'm going to just start on the right-hand side bottom right, and I'm going to start scrolling up. Okay, so I've got everything highlighted now. I'm simply going to right click, and then I'm going to copy, then I'm going to pop open Excel. Okay, now in Excel, I'm going to do Control V, which pastes, and that's going to give me the entire table. Okay, now from here, I'm simply going to highlight all the columns I don't want, and I'm going to right click and delete them. So all I'm left with now is just a bunch of text in column A, and that's what I'm going to use now I'm actually just going to insert a row here up on the top, and then I'm just going to highlight using my cursor. I'm going to go shift, arrow down, and I'm going to highlight all the text that I want. You can also do shift, page down, and that actually goes pretty quickly as well. Okay, so I've got everything now highlighted. I'm going to go control C, that copies just the text, and I'm going to go back into my word cloud, and off of my word list, I'm going to go extract words from text. And now I'm going to just do Control-V. And it's going to copy all of the cities that I've got in Wikipedia. Now, you may want to go through and remove the little crosses because there was because it's text. And so they've got little footnotes in the text. So that's an option as well. You can also use uh, Word. So here's another quick option. I'm going to do Control-V. And that's going to highlight everything. And if you don't want the actual fonts in there, I'm just going to do Control-Z. I'm going to go to paste, paste special, and then unformatted text. And that'll just put it all in here as just regular text. Another thing you can do you now to quickly remove those little crosses is highlight just the cross. So I'm going to zoom in here so you can see. And then over on the right hand side of the menu, you're going to see a replace button. So now I've got find what, it's the little cross, and I'm going to replace it with nothing. I'm just going to leave replace with blank, and I'm going to go replace all. And we can see we've made seven placements. You want to continue from the beginning? Yes, 49 replacements, they're all done. So now that's been removed. I can then just simply do Control A, select all, Control C, copy, and now I can copy that text in without the little crosses. So I'm going to do Control A, highlight everything, and then delete, and then Control V. So it's a little bit of a hack, and if you've used Word over the years, that's probably not new, but hey, some people have never seen that before. Great, okay, so now I'm gonna click apply. Now I do wanna say, down at the bottom, there's ignore word case, which means it'll be 
uh, capitalized or not capitalized. I want it not capitalized. So I'm going to click ignore word case and I'm going to click apply. Okay, and we're going to see a bunch of words now populate in. Now you may notice the stencil of the state of California, the bottom is not filled and the top is not filled. And it's because of the sizing and there's a sizing option here at the top. You're going to see it's right now it's on 10. If I move it up a tiny bit, it's going to rejig it and it's going to move it up. Now if I make it too big, you're going to see the amount of words over on the right that it's trying to fill in. It won't, it won't be enough room. So it's right now it says 476 words. So you want to get it to the point where all 512 words are there. There it is, 512 words. And you want to fill the entire state, which I did. Now the one thing I don't like about this is you can't move any of the city names around. So for example, you could have Los Angeles, which is located you know, down here. You could have it be way up here, for example. It's all randomized. But I'm not too worried about that for a free tool. This still looks pretty cool. And it's got different fonts and stuff. So you can always play around with the different fonts. Here's some three fonts that it's got in there. You could also add in more fonts if you wanted or remove fonts. I like the way that looks. Pretty straightforward. And now from here, I'm going to extract this file. And so I'm going to go File, and I'm going to go Save as Image, HD. And now this gives me a couple options. I can save it as a JPEG or a PNG, but I'm actually going to save it as an SVG. I'm going to show you a next level trick here. Because if you save it as a PNG, it's going to save it as a 1200 by 1200 file, which is okay. But if you want to make a really large file, you want to save it as an SVG. So I'm going to click Save. It may take a little bit of time here as it creates the vector file. It took about 10 or 15 seconds here to create it. And then from here, I'm going to click the Download button and save it on my computer. And here it is right here. It's an SVG file. You're going to Save, File, and click OK. Okay, now we're inside of Inkscape. And if you've never heard of Inkscape before, it's a free vector software tool. You can go to inkscape.org and you can download this completely for free for your PC. I'm going to go File and Open. And I'm going to open my Word Cloud document. Now you're going to see it opens up with a black background, which you may think is great, but if you want to get rid of it, it's pretty easy to do. Just simply click it once and then just drag the black background and click the delete key and you'll notice it disappears. So now we've got a transparent background here with a whole bunch of nodes. These are actual vector nodes. When I do Control A, which selects everything, you're going to see there's 513 objects selected. And when I click on Edit Paths by Node, you're going to see there's a bunch of nodes there. So it's actually a vector, which is pretty cool. So what I'm going to do now is just simply resize this. I'm going to go over to the right-hand side and click Export this document. And then I'm going to change the image size over here on the right-hand side. So the DPI, the dots per inch, I'm going to change that to 300. So I've changed the DPI to 300. I've hit Control A, which selects everything. I'm going to go to the right corner, bottom right corner, hold the Control key, and drag this image and make it larger. And you'll see now this says 5788 by 5788. So you can make this as large as you want. I like to make it probably about 7500 by 7500. Sell it as a big file, 300 DPI, and also just sell it as an SVG file. So I'd sell the PNG, which is what I'm going to extract right now, and I would sell the SVG file in a bundle. I did want to point out, if you're doing personalized designs on Etsy, if you're selling personalized designs, for example, here's a nurse. When I click on the nurse, you're going to see here, there's the nurse's face. I'll just zoom out a tiny bit. It's like a silhouette. You can get lists of words like names, family names, the person's name, and you could just have the whole list just be the person's name repeatedly or a bunch of positive affirmation names about the person's profession like a nurse. So this is a great opportunity if you want to sell something personalized on Etsy. You simply list it as personalized nurse digital file. And then the client supplies the list of words that they want to use or at least the person's name in their profession, maybe their city, and then you can fill the rest with just regular positive words. It's pretty easy to sell personalized stuff on Etsy. You just need to have really good customer service skills because you get lots of questions. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. It's totally free to use wordclouds.com. It is good for commercial use. There's an FAQ button on the top right and you can check it out and it does say that it's good for commercial use if in case you're worried about that sort of thing. Thanks a lot for watching. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your digital design journey.